Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel once again. I am Tariro Magela. Today I want to walk you through how to clean your airbrush the recommended way. The reason I'm doing this video, first of all, is because I love to teach. The second reason is I am doing it for our customers, those that have purchased the gadget from Purple Biko. Everybody deserves to realize the potential of their gadget, especially after an investment. Without wasting much of your time, I just want to say if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click subscribe and also turn on notifications so that you are notified each and every time I upload a video. I love airbrushing. That's the other reason why I'm doing this video. It's a great technique that enables you to come up with great looking cakes. These are some of my airbrush cakes. Like I said, I just love airbrushing. So today I'm gonna walk you through how to clean an airbrush. I just made a blue cake using the airbrush. So I'm gonna walk you through cleaning the blue color of the airbrush that I was using. A lot of people, they ask me on the best way to clean your airbrush or they come to me with uh, clogged airbrushes as a result of not cleaning your airbrush. So it's important that I highlight this point that every time you use your airbrush, clean it as soon as possible after using it. Don't wait for the airbrush to dry and then you can clean it up because if it dries out, then you're going to be to, to, to clog your airbrush. Eventually it's, it clogs completely and it stops airbrushing. So right here I was using blue food color. As you can see, it's, it's not yet dry. You clean your airbrush soon after use. So basically what you need for your cleaning is warm soapy water. I've got warm water in this bowl. Then uh, you need a gentle dishwashing liquid. This should do the job. So first thing you want to do is to rinse. You just rinse your, your airbrush. As you can see, there's some blue food color coming up. Just rinse it. You don't end here like you continue to clean it a lot of people they just uh, leave it like this and they think that they have cleaned their airbrush but you need to use like i said a gentle dishwashing liquid just a little bit and some warm water then you turn on your your airbrush Turn it on. So if you check, there's still some color that is coming out from your airbrush. It basically means that um, your, your, you, as much as you rinse the color cup, this part was still had good color in it. So you need to to further clean it by a process that we call back flushing. So when you back flush, you have to close the front part of your airbrush and you open your latch right here to airbrush and then it's gonna start bubbling out like that and then um, you add some more water just to rinse off the foam rinse off the foam so we're rinsing the color cup now we need to rinse this part so to clean this part because you have no access there, you can only clean it using back flushing. So you close up. As you can see, that means that there is still some dishwashing liquid that was still in, in this channel right here. You repeat until you don't have foam coming out. And you back flush again. As you can see, we have less foam now. Empty the contents gonna rinse for the third time back flush the form is finished so which means that you have 
prominent your, your, your channel right here and take note the water is completely clear and clean so that that should be an indication that your airbrush is now clean when you close you open your lash and then you check the water that is in the color cup is clear there is no sign of blue that's an indication that your airbrush is now clean and you can put it away afterwards so guys that is basically how you clean your airbrush so most airbrushes they fail after just a few months of use because a lot of people don't clean them properly they end up clogging and then you have to bring them for servicing so thank you so much for watching this video my next video is gonna be on how to airbrush a cake make sure that you turn on notifications and you subscribe so that you do not miss out on the next video that is coming up bye for now